What's up guys, Juice Mercy here and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're taking a look at a league on team of season, which announced last night at a league on awards. That's the UNFP. Of course, right now on FIFA Ultimate Team, we've got the SBC for the Young Player of the Year and Player of the Year for Mbappe and Edison Cavani. And they were also both announced last night at the awards ceremony itself. But before we get any further, as always, you can show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, make sure to click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. What League on Tots player are you looking forward to using the most? And finally, if you missed my previous video, go down below in the description box. So just to cover the first two notes again, the UNFP awards were last night. We got the team of the year, player of the year, manager of the year, goalkeeper of the year, and all that good stuff. And as you can see, the SBCs are released. We've got an 89 Mbappe. I think it was a 95 Cavani. So pretty damn similar to what we received from the PFA Player of the Year from Golo Kante. And on top of that, also Deli Ali. Now, uh, do I think these purple cards will be lower rated in the team of seasons? I think so, yes. Because in all honesty, I cannot see Deli Ali's team of season being just 90 or 91 rated in comparison to Yan Vertonghen's got a 91 and a lot of 87s already. So I think they've set the boundary. And it wouldn't surprise if we see like a 93 or a 94 Ali. And the same applies for Ngolo Kante being like a 95, 96 for the team of the season. Now, finally, this may not be the official one for FIFA Ultimate Team because in previous years, last year, for example, 10 of the 11 players made it. Or yeah, I don't think he got a team of season card, but the rest of them, they're all in the squad. But it does give a good indication to what players we could be expecting. And I think this year, I'm pretty sure all 11 players will make it. And the very first player is Super Sitch from Monaco. I do say this every single time I do these types of videos, but the player ratings and stats and the overalls, it's predictions. They're what I think it could be. And for the majority of the players, are pretty underdone with their stats probably will be eventually because they've done a lot of plus fives and diving reflexes so on and so forth, but I'm, I'm reckoning a 91 rated Super Sitch, a very tidy goalkeeper in the game. In fact, he didn't just get the team of the year, he also won the goalkeeper of the year award, and I believe right now Monaco are one point off securing the title because they've got two games left, whereas everyone else has one left in Clint PSG, they're currently three points behind them, but if Monaco, like I said, get one draw, they've got the title. And the squad itself has got a lot of youth talent in it, like Mbappe, also Banana Silva. They've got the veterans in there, like Falcao. I believe Subasic and a couple of others, they're actually promoted with Monaco a few years ago. Next up is going to Jibril Sidibe, also from Monaco as a right back. I think his base card this year at the very start of the game was a left back, but now he's over on the right hand side of Mendy on the left. And his card looks fantastic. Potentially, I think they will do it as an all-80 club. He needs just three shooting. I think this year, there's been a real lack of really quality French right-backs in the game. He may even be the first one that's properly usable for weekend league and such. And I will definitely be picking him up because 85 pace, 85 dribbling, 83 passing, 88 physical, 87 defending. He's great at defending, but also fantastic on the ball and going forward. And not only did Monaco get a lot of players in this team this season, the manager, uh, Leonardo Jardim, I think his name is, or something along those lines, he also won the manager of the year, as expected. And the very first PSG player is going to Thiago Silva. I believe currently their captain, and he features every single year on the team this season. Obviously one of the best centre-backs in world football. It'll be a fantastic card. 80 pace, 82 dribbling, 82 passing. Love that, by the way. 97 defending and 88 physical. And he'll probably be one of the highest rated defenders in the whole of team this season and could even make it into EA's best team this season at the very end. Then we go on to his partner, and that's going to be Glick, again from Monaco. And he does look like a fairly usable centre-back. The one thing I really like in my centre-backs, though, is that where it's a 70 pace. Unfortunately for him, he's actually one-off. I know you probably can't tell that in-game, but in regards to foot champions and stuff, he probably isn't quick enough. Especially when most people have team season attackers from now on, like 95 plus pace, he won't be able to keep up. His defending though, 94 defending, 92 physical, that is fantastic. But I think defensively, he may struggle a little bit, uh, simply down to pace. Then we go on to the next player, the final defender, could have guessed it, another Monaco player, Benjamin Mendy. Right, so I'm actually recording this part of the video a few hours later um, from the very first part because I forgot every single Tuesday and Friday we were getting team season cards. And obviously one came out today, being the EFL tot, has proven one thing that I've already said in this video, which isn't actually true anymore. Age 7 is not the lowest rating. There are quite a few gold EFL TOTS cards which are lower than 87, and the lowest is actually 83. Another thing to point out, the players like Ngolo Kante's purple card, the award winner, um, Deli Ali, Mbappe, Cavani, I'm not sure if their team this season cards will be better or not now, um, because Anthony Knockout was re-released as a gold card, like as a TOTS, and it's the exact same stats and rating as his purple. The same goes for Sharp, I think he's called Marquise, and on top of that, um, Watkins from Exeter City. All of them have got award winner cards. The difference between those and Kante, Ali, Cavani, and Mbappe, those ones are always SBCs, but the ones in the EFL tot, they're in packs. 
So keep that in mind just before we get any further. So on your screen is Benjamin Mendy from Monaco, a very solid player. He was very close to getting into the team this season most consistent, but I believe um, he was removed at the very, very last stage because he hasn't played a certain amount of minutes. It's like 66.6%. So he could well have had that card already, but unfortunately, again, wasn't in most consistent. Then we got to the next player, that is Bernardo Silva, another Monaco player. He's in contention to win player of the year alongside Cavani, I think it was Lacazette and Verratti, but he didn't win it. He wasn't a team of the season though, and he may be like a 92 rated player, 89 pace, 96 dribbling, 90 shot, 96 passing, and a 78 physical. Now I have used his highest rated in form card, which I think is 87. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't a massive fan of it. It wasn't it was too slow, but I did start him as a right forward move to Cam in game on 10 chemistry, but he didn't really do anything. But hope that team season card is much, much better, and he could be fairly cheap based on the prices of his other informs. And now we go on to the next player, another nomination for the player of the year, Marco Verratti from PSG. Quite a few rumors right now saying he could be going to Bayern Munich or Barca or Real Madrid. Uh, but I don't think he will. I think he'll stay at PSG at least for one more season. And that card for a 94 rated player, 78 pace, 80 shot, okay, that's not fantastic. But 96 passing, 99 dribbling, 93 defending, and 85 physical, that's pretty damn good. And if I remember correctly, he also has four star skill So he could be a very tight player. Probably won't be too expensive. The one side about him though, he's very, very short. I know Kante is, but Kante is very, very strong. Whereas Verratti in game, he's not really like that. But because his passing and dribbling are so damn good, you could well partner him up next to that the most consistent, Sanson uh, from Marseille. He's quite an opposite type of player, but he's all 80 club and a bit of a beast. The final midfielder is going to be Seri, the Ivorian, who plays it for OGC Nice, I think it is, on player details. Yes, it is. And that card looks phenomenal. He is only three centimeters taller than Marco Verratti, so probably about five foot six or five foot five, which isn't massive. But again, N'Golo Kante is fantastic in the game, at either five six or five seven. And for an all eighty club, very pacey, very good dribbling, very good passing, very good shooting, decent defending, and okay physical. Like I say, okay eighty four is fantastic. That card, I'd definitely be willing to try. I think it's also considered for teams is the most consistent, but unfortunately. He got an informer a couple of weeks ago. And now onto the front three. So players featured pretty much every single year on the league on tot, so it's like FIFA 13 or FIFA 14, that is Lacazette from Lyon. There are a lot of reports saying he'll be leaving this summer, which to be fair, he has scored a lot of goals for Lyon. I know a lot of people say he's scored a lot of penalties, but he's taken them, he's not supposed to miss. And his card this year could be something else. 95 pace, 97 shot, 91 passing, 98 dribbling, and 92 physical. The French teams you can make, like Paul Pogba and Golo Kante, of course, a 92 rated card, and so many other players that are likely to get a team of seasons around him, I'm really looking forward to trying it out. And even his 89 rated card, I think right now, is less than 250K or something, so very, very cheap. So this one, hopefully, is maybe under 400K. Then we go on to the main man, Edison Cavani. I've given a 96 rated card, but I made this squad before we found out that EFL touch ratings. So he could be a 95 rated card, like a complete replica, of his player of the year but one thing about it i think cavani's highest rated in form card is 91 so it wouldn't surprise you if his tots is a 96 especially for how many goals he scored this season it may square with people that's already done the sbc but to be honest his tots it still should be a 96 in my eyes and it's a great card 99 shot 94 passing 97 dribbling 97 physical and 88 pace if you look at his in-game stats for his player of the year they're sensational and the final player is going to be Mbappe, the wonder kid from Monaco, who pretty much came out of nowhere this season and has taken the world by storm, scoring in Champions League knockout rounds. I think is the youngest player ever to score in a Champions League semi-final against Juventus, of course. And the amount of goal contributions he has this season, goals and assists combined, for how many minutes he's total played, is crazy, crazy good. And that's the reason he won Young Player of the Year. And his card, I think, is like an 89. I'll give him a 91, but I think 89, that may be his tots. Because his highest card before that is like an 84, I believe it is, and the team of knockout station. Mbappe, 93 pace, 94 shot, 94 dribbling, 89 physical, 89 passing, and he's just 18 years old. But here's a question for you guys. Do you think Mbappe will stay at Monaco this season, or this summer, sorry, or do you think he'll be sold for a massive fee? And there is the overall team of season from the League on Awards, the UNFP trophies, I think they're called. And it looks really, really good. Some fantastic players. And imagine the bench reserves be filled with top class players on top of it. But that, guys, is going to be the end of this video. So as always, if you enjoyed it, show support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button for daily FIFA content. And in the comments below, of all 11 of these players, what would you want to use the most? Like mine personally, obviously we can use Cavani's player of the year and Mbappe's young player of the year. I'm pretty good with Lacazette. 
but the player that would probably change a lot of teams forward would probably be this guy right here, Sidibe, because normally good French right backs on FIFA 17. And don't forget if you missed my previous video from today, it was down below in the description box. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.